Oh man, what I tell y'all? It all starts with the bread, right? This is like a pure beauty right here. I traveled all over the world. You gotta learn from the best. You gotta come to Philly and, and get you a cheese stick, right? Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you again for joining me on my daily vlog. Today we head into the city of brotherly love and sisterly affection because it's National Cheesesteak Day. And when you think of cheesesteak, you may think of Pastor Gino's, the originators, much props to them. But today I'm going to be headed into the Northeast to try Steve's Prince of Steak. It's one of my favorites. And uh, man, oh man, it was quite a treat and it was quite busy in there. Let's go. Hey, yo, what's good, everyone? I'm out here at uh, Steve's Prince of Steak in Northeast Philadelphia. Today is National Cheesesteak Day, so why not come to one of the best spots in Philadelphia, the freaking cheesesteak capital of the world. Widow it out. Yeah, widow it out. <laughs> if you're fortunate enough, you will go to a cheesesteak spot. There will be a line. Read over the menu, know what it is that you want, and order with confidence. There is a condiment station. Please feel free to be heavy handed. Use as much as you want. No one will judge you. There's a window for cheesesteaks and there's another window for drinks and fries. Note that, all right? Feel free to glance over at the cook. He's putting your masterpiece together. And then once you get your cheesesteak, feel free to grab it, smell it, hold it, post Instagram pictures about it. Woo, look at that. And most importantly, enjoy it. So finally got my cheesesteak after like 15, 20 minutes, but it's understandable because it's mad crowded here. First thing you gotta do is dress it up. For me, I have, I have the, the peppers, I have the dry peppers, I have the ketchup, I have the pickles, and we about to feast, you know? When you eat a cheesesteak, you gotta have a soda. I think some of y'all call it pop, right? Got my bong back here already tearing up the food. Oh man, what I tell y'all? It all starts with the bread, right? This is like a pure beauty right here. This is a pure beauty. Some cheesesteaks, they chop it up. But for me, I like the cheesesteaks just like this. And it is legendary. They toast the bread, but they also let some of that bread soak in the grease. Mm. That's exactly how I remember this cheese thing. We gotta top it off with some ketchup, you know? It's hefty, it's tasty, it's fulfilling. Look at that. This is what this is what a cheese this is what a real cheese steak look like, you know? This is how it should look like. I traveled all over the world. You gotta learn from the best. You gotta come to Philly and, and get you a cheese stick, all right? One bite. Oh. Happy National Cheese Steak Day, you heard? But I feel like it's National Cheese Steak Day every day in Philly. <laughs> then you gotta top off that cheese steak with some ketchup with every bite. Mmm. Mmm. Me, I'm a hot sauce, hot pepper type of dude, so I'm gonna put some of that dried chili in there, as well as a, a pepper, and I'm gonna just go in, all right? I'm gonna just take about. Mmm. Mmm. Every bite is just filled with a crunchy texture of the bread. The steak is cooked perfectly. You get a you get a, a, a cheese whiz in every bite, and the onion is nice and crunchy. And then the peppers is nice and hot, just like how I like it. You know, a cheese steak is a very personal experience. If you ask someone in the area what's your favorite cheese steak spot, you get a million answers. So with that being said, cheese steak is very personal. You find a spot, you like the spot. You have debates about it, but at the end of the day, it, the, the, the main thing about being in this area is that you know you're in the right spot for a Philly cheesesteak. You can't really go wrong when you come get a cheesesteak in Philly. That's straight up. Ha happy National Cheesesteak Day.
was such a great cheesesteak. Thank you guys for joining me. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be bringing you more food vlogs, more recipes. I'm going to go home and sleep. I got the itis now. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Peace.